Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So you know we're all going a bit 4K these days. I mean, some of these mirrorless cameras can even shoot 8K. Um, and the quality coming out of them is amazing. But some would argue that it's actually a little bit too sharp. Um, and we've lost that sort of film-like feeling um, that you got from older cameras. And that's where mist filters come in. So mist filters come in different thread sizes um, depending on what lens you have. Um, I recommend getting the size that fits your biggest lens so you can just get step-up rings to adapt that one filter to the rest of your lenses. Um, I haven't done that. I've gone for the mist filter that fits my 55mm 1.8 for the Sony. Um, at the moment I'm filming with that, but with the mist filter off. So we're gonna switch over to it in a minute to see if it makes a difference. This particular mist filter is by K&F Concept um, and it was sent to me for review, but all the opinions are my own. The first time they'll be seeing this video is when you guys see it. If you're not familiar with KNF Concept or Kent Faith, um, they're a website and they do lots of tripods, accessories, filters, that kind of thing. And from what I'm seeing, just from testing this one product, um, it is very good quality stuff. So head on over and check them out if you're interested in that kind of thing. So head on over and check them out if you're interested in that kind of thing. You wanna go now, okay. So what does a mist filter actually do? I'm gonna go ahead and screw this mist filter onto the lens we're using now and see if we can see a difference um, in the image while I explain to you what it does. So now we've got the mist filter on the lens, you should really see the difference, specifically over here um, where this harsh light is. It should bloom a little bit more um, and the highlight roll off is a bit more pleasing. It should be a bit soft around here as well. So I'm just gonna put these images side by side between uh, when I was talking without the filter and now, and again, you should really see a difference, mainly over here um, where this harsh light is, but the whole image should be a little bit softer with a little bit more of a pleasing roller. So again, these mist filters take away that kind of 4K sharpness, soften the image a bit, um, without actually ruining the quality. They give you that kind of dreamy look um, and it kind of softens a really harsh light as you can see over here as well. It can also be really smooth on faces. So if you use it on faces, you can sort of smooth out those imperfections with the mist filter a little bit. So you can get them in different strengths, um, one eighth, one half, a uh, quarter or one stop. Um, personally, this is a quarter strength because I didn't want too much of a sort of dreamy look to my images. I just wanted it to be nice and subtle. Um, and you can tell even with a quarter strength, you can definitely notice the difference in the image here. So personally, I see this as being useful for wedding videography, as that's something I do a lot of. Just for those shots of the bride getting ready in the morning, or those couple shots where you can be a bit more artistic. It just takes the sharpness out of their faces a bit, and again creates that dreamy look with the light that really fits in with the kind of wedding videography look. So here's some example shots I've taken at an actual wedding um, and the sun wasn't out too much of this wedding so you won't be able to see a huge amount um, of the blooming that I've just mentioned but you can see the overall look on their faces is a bit softer um, and a bit more pleasing than that sharp look you get straight from camera. Now I'd never actually used a mist filter until KNF sent me one of these. I did actually intend on buying one, but I do really, really love the image. Especially for someone like me who does a lot of wedding videography, I can see it being used for prep to sort of soften up those faces when you've got close-ups of makeup shots, for example. But also couple shots and particularly sunset shots um, to really soften that harsh sunset light. I can imagine that'd be really, really good. So I'm really looking forward to using it for that. But it's important to note that it's kind of an acquired taste um, and a kind of a sort of specialist shot as well. So it's not for every single project, but as long as you know your why and as long as you know the look you're going for, then I definitely like the look from these mist filters. And if you do want to buy one from KNF Concept, um, it comes in this nice little box as well. Um, I'll put a link down below in the description to the official website where you can use my code for 10% off um, any of the mist filters they've got. And I'll put a link down below to the Amazon website for the uh, quarter mist filter um, where you get 20% off with a discount code. So that's it from me. Leave a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this on cameras, travel, tech, uh, filming on the go. And if you've got any questions or comments, then put them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.